Ah, the golden bird is back to stay. The golden bird is back to stay. Dark clouds of gloom have melted away. Fragments have joined in sweet array. Yes, the golden bird is back to stay. The golden bird is back to stay. Who is the Sony ki chidiya? The golden bird. It is our dear mother Bharata. Bharata Mata. Hamza, 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 Hamza. called Sone Ki Chidiya? True, we have heard that there was great prosperity in Bharata many centuries ago. She was the land of limitless gold and treasures. In the Vijayanagara Empire, gold was sold in the open market by measures like vegetables. In poems on Arunachala in Tiruvannamalai in the 4th century BC, Nana Sammandar talks of Gypsy women selling pearls by liters. Is Bharata's wealth the reason for her being called Sone Ki Chidiya? If that is the case, then why Sone Ki Chidiya? Why not Golden Lioness? Bharata was also called Land of Milk and Honey. So why not Golden Land? Why specifically Golden Bird? Is it because a bird is free? It flies in the vast sky. It has its home on earth, but it roams the skies and it often treats the entire earth as its home. Somewhere in winter, somewhere else in summer, adapting to its environment wherever it is and blessing it. That is true. But Rohit Sridhar, a loving Indian citizen, had meditated on this concept and gives a sweet answer. He talks of a family of birds who built their nest inside his home. Each time he reluctantly removed the nest, they rebuilt until he decided to find the best way to live together. This reminds us of an incident that happened in the old hall of Bhagavan Ramana where he was literally available 24 bar 7 to one and all.
threw away the sparrow's nest bhagwan she was building her ugly and untidy nest again and again here in the hall oh it was ugly is it if someone breaks your house saying it is ugly and untidy how will you feel sorry bhagwan i understand that for you the earth is one family all of us live in the vasudeva kutumba i will try my best to live by your example so like a bird each time bharata was invaded each time her home was broken she simply persisted and rebuilt 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 got back to her prosperity got back to her strength the children of bharata mata got back to our culture our spiritual core if we seem to be at the crossroads now if we seem to have lost our essence our abidance in truth this is the time to rebuild bharata will once again be the golden bird she will be the golden swan the legendary hamsa she will rise again as the world teacher the vishwa guru teaching dispassion and transcendence our sages of your had a glorious vision the vedas and scriptures lighted the horizon from these arose theaters traitized gem natya shastra born of bharata muni's glorious pen acting with body speech adornment and emotion angikam vachikam aharyam satvikam bonding the world as one family became bharata's mission bharata bharata punya bhumi bharata 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 namatai bharata agam ved kala sampat tanu jagati ge hanchu abharata hiriya muni bharata pancham vedada siriyanu needida bharata in the vedic age which we believe is beyond the beginning of time but historically may be placed several hundred thousand years ago our sages had crossed all frontiers of knowledge other civilizations were yet to be born but in bharata astronomy science mathematics medicine you name it the depth of every area of knowledge was already intuited and conquered and that which transcends all abidance in the one consciousness was the basis from which all else was done but how to teach this supreme truth in the simplest manner to one and all Bharata Muni answered this question through Natya holistic theater he said and thus the Natya Shastra was born the most comprehensive treatise on theater was born with clear guidelines for drama dance music storytelling and craft that includes stage craft makeup and attire life is theater and theater is life Hence the best guide for life is theater. In fact, Ramana Maharshi became enlightened by intensely enacting his own death and thereby living it as it were. The Vedas give dictums like a master to his servant. This is called Prabhu Samhita, the need, the spirit of obedience to be followed. The Puranas or epics give us the same truth through examples and life stories. This is called Mitra Samhita like a friend giving good advice yet it is advice Natya theater is an enacting or reliving the life situations all are equal in theater all artists and all members of the audience who are called sahridayas who participate in the very same experience there is no separation at all Ramana Maharshi says one should live life like an actor who happily and expertly plays the role of a king in one scene 
and readily plays the role of the king's servant in the next scene with equal aplomb so the way theater shares the truth is called khanta samhita the sharing from a beloved the magic of magic creates illusion the magic of theater infuses new vision the magic of magic creates illusion the magic of theater infuses new vision it makes us aware we live in one mansion of mother earth all are her children do you all know that we are right now a part of a mammoth theater festival is that so what festival is it It is an international theater festival of the National School of Drama and 2000 theater presentations are happening across our Bharata right now on the theme of Vasudeva Kutumbakam. Hey, that is amazing. It gives me goosebumps to be part of such massive festival. Myriad languages speak truth that is one. All sacred waters move only to the ocean. Ramaniya bhashe galu, Ramaniya riti galu, Yalla vu Ramya maya, Nammaya Bharata, Atma vicharada, Margavanu belaguva, Ramana na taayi valu Bharata. This concept of Vasudeva Kutumbakam. which we find in maha upanishad was referred to by modi ji in the g20 summit when he spoke of one earth one family vasudeva kutumbakam describes the attributes of an individual who has attained the highest level of spiritual progress such a one is called jeevan mukta by bhagavan shri krishna in the bhagavad gita the jeevan mukta has no sense of identity with his or her body and lives only in the universal spirit so all beings are the family of the jeevan mukta hmm i understand that the sages of ancient times lived in this manner the rishis of bharata whom we read about in the epics but do we have any instance of someone who actually lived the truth of vasudeva kutumbakam in recent times or is this just a utopian ideal a mere concept just a sweet dream we find shankara bhagavat pada declaring in his annapurna ashtakam swadesho bhuvanatrayam the universe is our motherland and in the 20th century very close to our own times there is bhagavan shri ramana maharshi let me take you back to some scenes from his life which establish beyond doubt that vasudeva kutumbakam is a reality and it is the purpose that all of us must strive for Yoganatha Yati has some doubts for which he wishes to seek clarification from you Maharshi what is the supreme goal to be attained by human society Brotherhood based on equality is the supreme goal to be attained by human society Ha what a magnificent upadesha on this day the 15th of August 1917 Saupratram samabhavena गंतव्यम परमुच्चते यस ओ गणपति मुनि ह्यूमन काइंड इज इंडीड ब्लेस्ड बाय दिस उपदेशा कमिंग एज इट डस फ्रॉम द लिप्स ऑफ भगवान रमण आई फर्मली बिलीव दैट दिस इज बाउंड टू बी अ रियलिटी वन डे जस्ट एज ऑल द पार्ट्स ऑफ द बॉडी वर्क ओनली फॉर द गुड ऑफ द होल बॉडी इवन सो Every individual must strive for the good of all beings. Look, look, see, from our now at the wondrous human body, where every organ plays its role only for the whole. Learn, learn, see, from our now from the wondrous human body, let the same harmony reign in human society. Let the 
same harmony reign in human society. consciousness does that mean you i and my servant there are all one yes you your servant the monkey is there and i are all one in one consciousness but how can the monkeys be the same they are a different species they are just the same there is no difference they are one in one consciousness look look A monkey is bringing her baby to Bhagwan. Bhagwan, how is it that wild animals like monkeys also bring their young ones to you while they spurn them if anyone else handles them? Maybe they think I am one of them. Some may think that Sri Rama's interaction with the monkeys was a myth, but Bhagwan has revealed how true that is. He understands the language of monkeys. He has explained their laws to us. He interacts with them and guides them just as he guides any human devotee. Yes, he converses with squirrels, birds, even snakes with every being. When one abides in the one consciousness such a one is the satvik shiva tam namas satvikam shivam then the whole earth is one body one family angikam bhuvanam kuliyu chirateyu kudiyadu vachikam sarva vangmayam all manifestations are adornments aharyam chandra taradi tam namah satvikam shivam let us join in prayer in the words of the sage of kanchi that echoed in the voice of ms subalakshmi in the united nations maitreem bhajata akhila hrichetrim Let us celebrate universal brotherhood. Let there be no strife. Let us together enjoy the gifts of Mother Earth. May all beings be blessed. Maitreem bhajat akhilaj jethe Maitreem bhajat akhilaj jethe Maitreem bhajat akhilaj jethe आत्मदेव परा पश्यत युद्ध त्यज 
त्यजत स्पर्धां त्यजत त्यजत परेश्वक्रमक्रमण जननी पृथ्वी कामुभास्ते जनको सकल दयाड़ो दाम्य सकल जनान 